Till now, you have studied about the tool nomenclature. Okay, so we will revise the names of the tool nomenclature. So these are the seven nomenclature of a single point cutting tool. First one is shank, second is plank, paste, heel, nose, nose radius, and last one is the cutting thing. Okay, so overall description was given in the previous lecture. Now we will move further for the tool signature. Okay, so in tool signature we will study about different types of angles that are used for describing the single point cutting tool that are very important. Okay, as a mechanical engineer you should know all the angles also with tool nomenclature. Tool nomenclature is very also very important but similarly the angles of the single point cutting tool that is known as tool signature. Now we will start for the tool signature. Now here you can observe in this figure, this is a 3D view of a single point cutting tool. Here you can observe all the angles written over here. Total 7 angles are written and all the angles are stated over here with the help of this figure are shown to you so that you can easily understand. Okay? So first, now what we will do is we will go one by one for each and every angle. Now here the definitions of each and every angle is written. Now what I will do is just explain you in this figure itself that what is the back rack angle, side rack angle, end relief angle, side relief angle, end cutting edge angle, side cutting edge angle and nose angle. Here you can observe all the angles. But to understand these angles and the use of this angle is very important. That you have to write. Definition you will you can learn on your own. But to understand it you must listen to this video carefully ok now we will start with the back rack angle and side rack angle ok so first of all we will cover the rack angle now let me explain the rack angle what is rack angle where is rack ok so here you can observe the face of this tool which comes directly in contact with the chips removed from the workpiece ok this face is known as rack Ok, the face here you can observe here, this is the rack, ok, as a face you can see this is a rack, if you have a rack in the bay angle, you can see this is a rack, you can see this is a video lecture, you can see this is a shortcut, you can see this is a rack, so you can see this is a bs, rack angle is a rack, so you can see this is a rack, so first is back rack angle, and second one is side rack angle, now what is the case, and it is a rack, so you can see this is a rack, तो जो बैक रैक एंगल जो अँ है द होरिजोटल लाइन जोड़े जो एंगल बनावे आ टूल एक्सिज से आ टूल एक्सिज देखा है तो ब्लेक कलर में राइट तो द एंगल मेड विथ द होरिजोटल एक्सिज इज नोन एज द बैक रैक एंगल क्लियर ना वाई इट इज मेड लाइक दिस हमें इम्पोर्टंट शू तो बैक रैक एंगल करना इम्पोर्टंट है कि भाई टूल लाइन बैक रैक एंगल सौ वधारे इम्पोर्टेंस है आप लोग पूर्णी लाइफ में इफेक्ट करें जो डायरेक्टली पूर्णी लाइफ में क्या है जो इफेक्ट करें जो कि जो कहीं बैक रैक एंगल तो हमें मोटू रख सो तो पूर्णी लाइफ वधारे मस्त है ओके जब जब बैक रैक एंगल तो हमें मोटू रख सो तो पूर्णी लाइफ उसी सकती है राइट और बैक रैक एंगल एक लिमिट so, we have to do a maximum of 15 degrees in the tool. When we do it, we have to do it in the tool. So, we have to do it in the tool. Clear? So, back rack angle is important for the tool life. So, we have to do it in the tool life. Rack angle is a thrown type of angle. Positive, negative and a zero. Here you can observe, here it is written. So, the back rack angle is positive. If the slide cutting edge slopes downward from the point towards the stack. Okay, now uh, let me show you in this figure. So, you can see that the back rack angle jo R is the same. So, you can see that point T downwards is the same. So, downwards is the downwards So, this figure shows that the positive rack angle is the same. This figure shows that the positive rack angle is the same. This figure shows that the positive rack angle is the same. That is positive rack angle. अब ये सेम वस्तु आपने आज की आप ऊपर नहीं तरफ जाएंगे तब आपने तो करें तो आप नीचे नहीं तरफ आप लाओ तो पुल नहीं थी 
तो ये सेना मटर है ये सेना सुबह बाद में नेगेटिव रैक एंगल ये पॉजिटिव रैक एंगल आपने यूज करिए जो मिथल मटेरियल मटे नेगेटिव रैक एंगल आपने यूज करिए जो डक्टाइल मटेरियल मटे ओके एंड एक तीजी वस्तु आवेज़ जीरो रैक एंगल जीरो रैक एंगल आपने ब्रास मटे यूज करिए जो ओके फॉरवर्ड्स belonging to zero rack angle, positive rack angle and negative rack angle because there are three rack angles so you can see that one thing you can see that 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 so you have to remember this ok so back rack angle is clear next is side rack angle now what is side rack angle that you can see a vertical line that is shank that is shank that is shank that is body that is vertical line that is shank एनी साथ ही जो एंगल बनाया है आज जो ये स्लोप देखा है तो हमने ये आम दिस दिस इस जो साइड रैक एंगल अब साइड रैक एंगल मार्टेल से आज जो स्लोप आप ये नो मतलब सुनिए कि आगर नो आज जो फेस से या आपको स्लैंटिंग था ही क्यों तो हमारे एंगल में था ही क्यों डेट इस नथिंग बट द साइड रैक एंगल अब ये रैक एंगल तो ना जैसे कि शैंक ने इफेक्ट ना करे ना अपने जो वर्किस जैसे ये अन्य थोड़े फ्रिक्शन बता रहे ना करे बराबर जो कर्सन जो क्या हुआ है ओके ओवर कम तो फ्रिक्शन व्हाट वी प्रोवाइड इस साइड रैक एंगल टू द वर्किस ये ओके सो बैक रैक एंगल एंड साइड रैक एंगल होप यू ऑल ऑफ यू अंडरस्टूड and second one is the end relief angle. So relief angles are nothing but the clearance angle. Okay, you can name it at clearance angle also. Name it as clearance angle also. So how you have to remember is S E. The last video I have explained the shortcuts to remember this full signature. So with the relief angle, what word we will make the S and E side relief and end relief. Okay, so relief or clearance angle. What? Why we provide a clearance angle? Yeah. Why we provide a clearance angle? The point is same as over from the friction and to maintain the cheap thickness. But our cheap ni thickness and cheap ni width maintain karvi hota. Tamare relief angle tamare banne side apka pade. Kya kya side relief or end relief? Okay. So the points to remember with this relief angle is so. Side relief angle is the angle made with the vertical. Here you can see the vertical line of the shank. Okay. Yeah. And here you can see from the nose radius there is an angle provided. So the tool will be like this. It will be in an angle. So one point will be there. That is our main point which is used for removing the material from the work. So these angles are provided, the relief angles are provided to maintain the thickness of the chip and to maintain the width of the chip which will be removed from the workspace. Clear all of it? Okay. Now next is end cutting edge angle. End cutting edge angle and side cutting edge angle. Here end cutting edge angle is the angle provided okay, with the horizontal line of the flank, this is the flank portion. So this flank portion, when we have studied yesterday that the intersection of the end cutting edge angle and the side cutting edge angle, that means the intersection of the two flanks is our nose. Okay, but some angle is provided for the flank also. So that to overcome the friction of the chip and the workpiece and to dissipate the heat generated during machining process. ओके तो हीट ने वधारे हीट किसी तरह से वधारे हीट किसी तरह से क्या फ्रिक्शन जनरेट कर रहे वर्क की जरूरत टूल पर आ रहे ये चीप निकल रही है चॉप की जैसे वर्क टूल नहीं ऊपर डेट विल बी स्टिक ऑन द टूल तो तू ओवर कम डेट व्हाट वी डू इज प्रोवाइड द कटिंग एज एंगल आल्सो ओके दिस इज द मेन Vertical line. Here you can see the vertical line is there of the tool axis, and here somewhat angle is provided so that a sharp edge is prepared with this end cutting edge. 
and similarly with the horizontal surface one angle is provided that is the side cutting edge clear okay? and the last one is the nose radius nose radius will come in directly contact of the workpiece so as the nose radius is sharp the material will be diffused very quickly and we will have a mass production fast production okay so this nose radius is very important how much nose radius we have to keep that totally depends upon the tool life okay so here you can observe the various definitions of the angle each and every angle is given so just the definition you can mug up or if you have understood this the no need to mug up the definition you can write on the phone so that will be lucky support the next topic is single point cutting good advantage so there are many advantage okay? but the main advantage is that it is easy to design and fabricate very well observe in this figure that single point cutting tool design From a raw material, we can easily prepare the single point cutting tool, and this tool is little cheaper in price as compared to the multi point cutting tool. Are cheap also, but other than it is cheaper in manufacturing also and cheaper in when we buy. Next is this advantage of a single point cutting tool. Okay, so tool wear rate is high, shorter tool life, low metal removal rate, and low productivity. Okay, now there is only one point which is in direct contact with the workpiece, so the tool life or the tool wear rate will be also high, and the tool life will be shorter. And the material removal rate due to single point, the material removal rate is also low and low productivity. As we have the single point cutting tool, so the tool comes in contact, the single point comes in contact with the tool, so the productivity is also low. Now. Here you all know what is the application of this single point cutting tool. So single point cutting tools are used for various operations on lathe machine, shaker machine, and planer machine. Okay. Now, ah, uh, the other important question is, ah, B mask. I have asked you this question. Ki bhai, you know, the B mask na kya question samne kitta jaa na ki just samne attend kawa na jaa. Ah, first chapter mein jee mein. सिंगल पॉइंट कटिंग टूल में जो टॉपिक से हमारी चार पांच क्वेश्चन में काटा है ज्यादा से एक बार खाली हो ही गया सो व्हाट इज सिंगल पॉइंट कटिंग टूल के भाई इट इज अ टूल यूज फॉर प्रोडक्शन इन मशीन्स लाइक लेथ पेपर प्लानिंग एंड सो ऑन ओके द सेकंड पॉइंट इज के भाई दिस रील बिट वाज इज टू सिंगल पॉइंट कटिंग टूल सो नो रील बिट इज व्हाट इट इज अ मल्टी पॉइंट कटिंग टूल एंड इट इज यूज्ड फॉर ड्रिलिंग Operation in drilling machine. Okay. Now, what is the nomenclature of single point cutting tool? So you have to remember all these seven names as discussed earlier: shank, line, face, heel, nose, nose blade, and cutting edge. Is this tool that is a, is this single point cutting tool used to perform operations in milling machine? So no. In milling machine, only multi point cutting tools are. On which machine single point cutting tool? As you know, it is used in lathe, shaper, planer, and slaughter machine. And what type of operation is performed? So here you can write any one, any of these machines operation. That is, you can write turning, casting, then you can write braiding, plotting, grooving, parting, etc. So there are lots of operations which can be performed with the help of single point cutting tool. Okay, so guys. Here almost we have covered the first topic that is single point cutting tool. Out of this topic, uh, minimum of ten marks can be asked in uh, the PPT paper. So kindly refer this video.